Hi, Ari, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we went to Northworld Manor, and we slayed some Horde and also some members of the Syndicate. Today, we're going to continue that quest chain. Well met. With the quest Stromguard Badges, Syndicate and Stromguard do battle with our contingent of militia there. In order to urge the rabble to fight our more disciplined troops, the Syndicate leaders have placed a bounty on our soldiers, awarding gold for each Stromguard badge gathered off killed militiamen. We want those badges retrieved. We cannot allow the cutthroats to take trophies from our brave fallen. Enter the Syndicate controlled area of Stromguard and hunt them for our badges. All right, so See this is what we will do today. Maybe we will see some more Horde again. That was a lot of fun doing a little bit of PvP yesterday. Look at this guy, small 15 hunter, making quite the journey here to uh, Refuge Point. Guess he's picking up flight points. He's probably just getting out of Azerma style. Yeah, we're going to be going off to Stromguard Keep. We're going to be slaying the Syndicate members there. It's, Stromguard Keep's a pretty interesting place. There's ogres there. There is, uh, like, an alliance. This, uh, well, the group at Refuge Point, they have a little camp over there as well. And then there's also Syndicate members. So it's kind of like a... A fort split into three different factions. Kind of weird. But I guess that's what happens when things get torn down. People just pick up what they can. Oh, look at that. Or Connor. Thought he was going to jump off his mount and attack me. Nice little trick here. You can uh, jump up here, actually. I think you can. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure you can jump up there. I've done it before. So they're over here. Let me try this. Well, maybe you can't. Maybe Drain Eyes can't do it? I remember doing this before. Maybe over here is where you can do it? No, I'm not even close. Are we stuck? Oh, no! Okay, good. We're not stuck. But I remember being able to jump this. It's this one over here. We're close on our mount, but... It's kind of close here. I think you have to be able to jump on, like, something here, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I thought you could, just, like, kind of sneak up there. Alright, so we'll go fight the Syndicate members. They're just right over here. Let's get all buffed up. Okay, I got rocked. Oh. We do a lot of damage. That's for sure. We will hit level 38 today. Interested to see what will happen with that. So we're gonna be fighting this rogue. Oh my gosh, fighting three of them. Be in a little bit of trouble here. Let's try to fight this thief though. And hoping we can maybe get this thief down. Drink up quick. Yeah. 
I think they have like a little base camp at the back here. Try to get back there. And there we go, we hit level 38. Let's see what we got here. Guess we'll keep going into weapon mastery. It increases the damage we deal with all weapons by another 2%. So that's a pretty significant increase in damage right there. Yeah, Grobulus is a pretty fun place to level. I think it's like one of my favorite. Just because of how there's... I think it's probably one of the only servers on in North America that have a decent faction balance. I haven't really looked into it in a while, but... Many servers have lost that. So I think I'll probably be leveling on uh, Grobulus. Most likely in the future. Just because of that. The only problem is I can only level Alliance here because um, if I try to level as a Horde character, you're not allowed to because you can only have one. You can only be on one faction per server. So that kind of sucks. I kind of wish I went Horde here because um, it's actually, I think, a little bit more Alliance than Horde. There's a decent home population here. I'll pull another one. Let's bring him back. Oh, we got a large red bath sack. Nice. All right, so this is the little fort that they have. It's funny how the syndicate never, like, got their own, you know, fort for themselves. They always just go to abandoned <laughs> places to live. I guess they're trying to fight for this abandoned fort. Makes sense because eventually, if they secure a, an, an abandoned fort and they build up enough, they could maybe fortify it and then have their own base camp. I wonder how the syndicate started. I, I haven't really looked into that. We did slay their leader, though. She's probably gonna run soon. What else we got here? Uh, looks like we're getting in a big fight. Got disarmed. It's not good. This will probably give to the Naru. Probably better than us punching. Disarmed again. upstairs. I wonder if it's just like regular syndicate members or if there's like an elite or something. You can hear something up there like something's being conjured. Alright, so that should be enough mana. Let's see what's going on up here. Looks like someone is conjuring something. Syndicate Magus. Looks like she's trying to, like, hurt that out of here. That's kind of what it reminds me of, where she's making, like, a portal or something. Maybe for more Syndicate members to, uh, portal in and out. 
this area. I wonder if she'll attack me. Yeah. <laughs> Shamans are just so good against casters. Having a ranged kick slows all that stuff. Alright, so that was it. This is like the Syndicate's little, little corner of the fort. We didn't get many badges. It's kind of a shame. There's a bruise weed over here, though, that we could pick up. And the herbalism, uh, I think it's herbalism trainers over here. Or is it alchemy? It's a trainer in this keep. I think we went to him earlier. I think it could be alchemy, like boosts your alchemy, gives you like the next level. Starting to spawn back again. Yeah, we're gonna be up over here. This guy's just swinging like crazy. He's just slashing me. Looks like he has like slice and dice up or something like that. Now you have a combat rogue. Oh, looks like we're pulling the... Pulling everybody. Could be in trouble, so we're going to have to watch out for that mage. Going to pop a kit to the Naru. Use another health pot as well. Make sure he doesn't get that frost bolt off. How many horde out here today? We did miss out on that hunter. The hunter was level, pretty high level though. Hunter's kind of a tough fight for a shaman. Shamans are, I wouldn't say easy to kite, but they're, they're not hard to kite, that's for sure. Thing is, you can just start shooting lightning bolts at them. Our lightning bolts do pretty good damage, too. Like we did a decent amount of damage to that mage yesterday. We were shooting off lightning bolts at him. So I should probably start using them more. I'll try using uh, some lightning bolts for the next pull here. Let's try him on this thief. On this thief. He's running away. Make sure we don't pull the actually we'll shoot this guy. Looks like he's making some food or something over there. Oh, he's running out of our way! Can we shoot through the wall? No, line of sight. Did a decent amount of damage actually, 18% of his health. With 20% there. Two badges right there. All right, so there we go. So we'll fight this last one. And then we'll head over to uh, where the Alliance camp is. I think eventually we'll probably have to fight the Ogres as well. Yeah, if, if we could jump this, there'd be a nice shortcut to get to uh, the Alliance camp over here. So you can get up here, and, and then maybe you could jump up. Like you can. Problem is, the elephant really sucks. Like, on a horse, I could do this, I think. If 
But on an elephant, you just can't. The elephant's too big. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out of here. And we will go and check out... Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a horde member there. Level 43. He's slaying the Alliance. Oh, he sees us. Is he going to attack us? <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> he's going to he's going to kill me though. There's not much I can do here. I can slow him down maybe and like try to run away. But he's just going to charge me. Come on, where's the where's my friends? <laughs> He's first dating. I'm try to bait him into uh, coming here. Can we just shoot him? He's running away from me. Come on, you're level 43, pal. You can charge me and try to kill me here. Item here. Drop that totem. <laughs> Doesn't like this game too much, does he? Sees what I'm trying to do. It's not a dumb orc, that's for sure. Alright, well, we'll go back to what we were doing before. Cool if I could trick him into charging up here. And then they can. I don't know. I wish he came in and. I wish he had the. I wish he, like, you know, just came in and just wanted to fight. That would have been cool. But yeah, this guy sells stuff to you. He sells the. Yeah, he sells bandages, first aid stuff. I almost forgot about that. I think we already learned that stuff, didn't we? We, we got Mage Weave and all that. Heavy silk, yeah. All right, so it's looking like this. Uh, this orc, this orc's not gonna come. Obviously, I look like the coward here, but I'm I'm like five levels, hot, six levels lower than this guy. Like he doesn't think he can just charge in and like you know like just. Two tap me into an execute, boom, dead, and then just deal with a level 38 Stromguard defender. It shouldn't be that bad, dude. Yeah, maybe we can run into him, like going like this. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll RP walk in. It'd be funny if he came around the corner. You don't really fit in with these guys. But yeah, I wonder where he went. I guess he left. Maybe he went over to fight the ogres. Yeah, he can't be seen. Damn, I wish these guys were coming, man. When I was, like, behind the... Uh, I could have used these you guys. Need to be there. Yeah, it was fun. Whatever. It was a nice orc, though. Gave me a chance. Didn't come in swinging right away. Yeah, that's why Grobulus is a great server right now. I think it's probably, like... If you're really into like world PvP and like having that, I think faction balance is a must. I would say Grobius is probably one of the best servers to play on. I actually like it more than my main server, Fairlina. Like really the only good thing about Fairlina is that it has a lot of guilds that you can play like play with and a lot of uh, just a lot of it's easy to get into a dungeon and a raid. 
all that stuff, but... You know, like, I really only raid with, like, my guild, so... If we were on Grobulus, it really wouldn't change much. Or even if we were on, like, a server with, like, low pop, it really wouldn't change that much. Be hard for harder for us to recruit, though. Yeah, let's deliver this quest. Deliver these badges back to the fallen Stromgard defenders. Need help? Have you retrieved any? Have a good oh, one. Hello. Have you retrieved any Stromgard badges, Billy Diddly? The Syndicate must learn they cannot profit from our dead. Thank you, Squidly Diddly. We will inform the families of these fallen soldiers that they were killed in battle. It will, gear, it will be grim news to bear, but it is better than the uncertainty of a missing loved one. Be careful. There we go. All right, guys. Private Marcus Tremaine. Oh, it's just going to say all the names of the, the dead. So many lost and so many more we must lose before the battle ends. Thank you for these badges, Squilly Diddly. I will send news to the families of the deceased. All right, so that's why we picked them up, just so they could find out who was slain by the syndicate. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.